Well, second week of June and 1.3 million Americans lost their job. We have a looming housing crisis and I'm going to show you how this plays out. Like 30% of Americans did not pay their mortgage or rent last month. 30%. Many of these states are starting to get rid of the eviction moratoriums. Now, we are about to go through a cluster jam of evictions. This is the first stage of the looming housing crisis, unless Congress does something to fix this. Because what's going to happen is the courts are going to be jammed up. A normal eviction would normally take you like two to three weeks. What's going to happen is it's going to start to take these evictions three, four, five, six months because there's going to be so many of them. Just like the unemployment situation with the unemployment insurance policy where people are getting paid money, these systems were not built for this type of massive activity. Now, if Congress, and this is this is an if, because you know they're they're supposed to be talking, they may go ahead and do something. But if they don't do anything, in a matter by December, we will have millions and millions of people evicted across the nation. I want you to think about that. Millions and millions of people evicted. Some of these people will find shelter with friends and family. And a lot of these folks will be sleeping in their cars and a lot of these folks will be homeless. They don't have a job. They, their insurance, their unemployment insurance benefits have run out. They, I mean, it, it's just going to be really, really bad. And what this is going to do is shift the rental market because you're going to have so many people who are not going to be participating in the rental market. Once again, all this is predicated if Congress does nothing. That is the first part of the looming housing crisis. The second part of the looming housing crisis is when these forbearances, and once again, yes, they changed the language that anyone who applied for mortgage forbearance after July 1st, which wasn't that long ago, could then go back and rework their mortgage and put their payments toward the end. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be a cluster jam. This is going to be a cluster jam because the people who enter into the mortgage forbearance programs are going to be people with equity will be able to sell their houses. They may lose all of their equity to get out from under that house before it, it buries them. And then we're going to have people with no equity. We're going to have a lot of people who are going to be foreclosed on and this because of the massive, massive, massive number. It's going to take years to work its way through the system. You're going to have somebody who's going to be living in their house for a year or two, not paying their mortgage because it's going to take that long to get them out. So what is this is going to do to real estate? It is going to crash the price of real estate because I don't care how many people, because there, there are some real estate investors who are heavily who are not heavily leveraged. Let's go ahead. There, there's some real estate people. They own their property outright. They can ride this thing out for the next few years as it works its way through the cycle. But the new investor, the heavily leveraged investor is about to be massacred. This is going to bring down the price of housings 2021. That's when I see it hitting. Like, so if you're looking to buy a house and you can wait, you know, if you, you got to go ahead and get someplace cause you got to move now, you got to do what you got to do. But if you're in a position where you can wait, the deals will be sick. The deals will be sane because a lot of this is still going to happen. Even if Congress does something right now, we have massive stimulus and we have millions of businesses going out of business and we have massive stimulus. We, we have a 6.6 trillion cares act. And we had the Fed who put in about like seven trillion into the stock market. And even with all of this stimulus, businesses are still closing. P 
people are still feeling economic pain. So even if Congress does something about the evictions in the mortgages, a lot of this stuff is still going to happen and there's still going to be deals. There's still going to be deals. So if you want to do real estate, like right now, uh, real estate prices are very high because there's an inventory issue and the law of supply and demand moves into place. Low supply, higher demand, more prices. So this is one of the only, this is the only reason that real estate prices have been steady, but that is not going to stay the case much longer. Give it six to eight months and you will see real estate prices softening. You've already seen rents across the nation from California to North Carolina go down. So this looming housing crisis is going to hit the residential housing market. It's going to hit the residential uh, rental market, both apartment and housing, and it is going to decimate commercial real estate. Commercial real estate right now is currently in a free fall. Co commercial real estate has so many issues. If you're looking to rent a warehouse and you've got a little money, you can get a screaming deal right now. So how long is this gonna last? We're gonna be in this mess a good two to five years. So starting 2021, prices are gonna start dropping like a rock and you're gonna be able to get really, really good deals. And if you wanna be a real estate investor, this will be a time for you to get into the market as an investor. The deals will be screaming. If you have cash, you will be king. And it is crazy what is going to happen because right now, as I talked about in earlier videos, Rona is state opening, state closing, state, you know, as long as this keeps going on. And I'm very, very eager to see what happens with the NFL football season and the collegiate football season. Because if these industries are decimated or hampered or have issues, that we're talking trillion, we're talking trillions of dollars. The, I, I know these, you know, University of Alabama as a football team does almost 100 million a year in like four months, football sales, you know, between ticket sales, merchant sales and all this other stuff. Michigan does like 110. So you're literally going to see an industry that makes trillions of dollars deeply impacted. And this is going to be a mess. So what is one to do? First thing you need to do is to get on top of your money because this is the game. Those who have money, those who have cash flow are going to win in this war. Those who have no cash flow, those who have no money, it's going to suck big monkey balls. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be very, very trying. It's gonna be really, really crazy. And for those of you who have your income, you have your good credit, work hard, get rid of debt, get rid of as much debt as you can. So you could be in a position to take advantage because they're still handing out credit cards. They're still doing car loans. They're still doing mortgages, but you've got the best credit, the best scores. You know, if you're like a person with shoddy credit, uh, this is this market is not going to be kind to you uh, right now. And I did a video on Savage Finance. Uh, one of my friends called me and he said three of his credit cards got shut off. He has great credit, never been late three of his credit cards. He just got a letter in the mail from three of his credit card issues that they just completely closed his accounts. So that's happening. This is why it's so strong and important for you to have cash. So I can't help you right now, but I can help you in the future. And this is where we have to be. You know, I put up some videos about where how I used to be in a very bad financial economic situation and how I got out of it. And what I can do is help you in the future. So go below, get 30 days, 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And if you need any help starting your business, I have a multitude of consulting packages below and everyone who books the financial tune up consulting call, you also get access to ultimate money. So for you, you, you buy one thing and you get two. How cool is that? All of the links are below or they're over at Savage Finance.
So with that, I will see you guys in the next video.